Perhaps we'll on that, what, maybe, what, maybe one last? After a coast to coast search for the best that home cooks in America, just 22 yeah, were one. chosen it, well, to wear the coveted white apron. It's time for the world's biggest cooking competition to truly begin. Some have risen to the occasion. Red team, let's go! But many have cracked under the pressure. That will throw your ass out of here faster than you can even imagine. Now, just five remain. Elizabeth. It's sophisticated. How is Cutter so here? This dish is like you, a serious contender. Leslie. Wow. You really can teach an old dog new tricks. It's beautiful. Courtney. This is you at your best right now. Delicious, ambitious, and just getting better and better. Cutter. Cutter, you may have a face like a British bulldog tuna wasp, but you do cook like an angel. And Christian. Just the minute I'm ready to write you off, you come back with a dish like this. Thank you. Now, they go head to head for a spot in the final four. Remember what's at stake. But only one can claim the title of Master Chef. Oh, Lonjo, we're good. No spoilers. Okay, who's in there? I'm in the top five. Oh. It doesn't get any better than this except for number one. And I plan on being number one. Okay. My dream is to have a food truck. I'm doing this for my fiance. She saw the ambition, she saw the motivation. And MasterChef means the world to me. Welcome back, everyone. The final five. Before we show you what's under this big box, let's show you what's under all your mystery boxes. One, two, Nothing. Three. Nothing. Nothing. Because the most important ingredient is under this box. And if you want, this is obvious. Somebody, yeah, people. I see a bunch of feet. And then I see a pair of feet about that big. And my six-year-old brother is standing there. Please welcome your loved ones. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Actor. <laughs> you've all been gone from home for so long now, I'm sure you've all missed your loved ones. Now. <laughs> your six-year-old dude of a brother, Cooper. Yeah. How long ago was it you saw him? Almost a year. I don't get to see my brother that often. I moved to Philadelphia four months after he was born. I missed out on his first steps, his first words. <laughs> so big. Oh. I really feel like I'm missing out on a lot of his life. I want to make him proud of me today. I love you. Good to see you, bud. Welcome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so strong. Christian, your beautiful fiance, Jasmine. My fiance is definitely my pedestal when I can't stand. Baby. <laughs> Her being here gives me that motivation, that little um. Elizabeth, you've been married for just five months when you came here to the Master Chef Kitchen. That's right. Your husband, Ross, is here all the way from Brooklyn, New York. Why don't you go and join your lovely wife and say hello? That looks like an NPC. You. Cutter, your dad, David, is here all the way from Beaumont, Texas. We know you guys are super close. What have you missed the most about your dad? He's my best friend. And I'll be honest with you, he's probably my hero in life. Why don't you go over there and give him that bear hug? All right. <laughs> How you doing? What's up? You looking good. You too. Yeah. <laughs> Leslie, awesome. you're gorgeous. Wife, Paula, have you missed him? Oh, it's terrible. It's so lonely at home. It's so quiet. 
<laughs> Where is the off button? We haven't found it in months. I haven't found it in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> he is dying to see him. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Please, go and see him. Welcome, my darling. Thank you. That's cute. <laughs> so proud. Amazing. Obviously, tonight's mystery box is going to be working a little differently. You and your loved ones will take those empty mystery boxes back into the MasterChef pantry to get everything you will need to make their favorite dish. Paula, what is the dish of it's Leslie's CL. that you miss the most? Surely. This herb crusted rack of lamb. Ah, Dave. Uh, just a good old black and red snapper steak. And newlyweds. Italian meatballs and grits. Jasmine, what is it, my darling? Don't lie. Reveal all. It's actually his seafood gumbo. Oh. Seafood gumbo. Ah. Cooper, you shout it out. What is the dish you miss the most? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Yeah. I love mac and cheese. <laughs> you now need to make an elevated version of that dish in just 60 minutes. Show your family and us just how far us. you've grown across this competition. So your family 60 and minutes us. starts now. now. Run, Cooper! Run, Cooper! Run, 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 run! I gotta run. Got it. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do a black and red. Me and my dad have a great relationship. He's my hunting buddy, my fishing pal. He took me in and his son at five years old. Spinach and carrots. My mom was a single mom raising a kid, and he went from being a bachelor to taking on a family. And I, and I think that's a huge compliment to him as a person and as a man. I need tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Oh, I need roasted tomatoes, little ones, yeah. My wife's the breadwinner. When I first met her, I married her with five children. She was tired of being a stay-at-home wife. I'll just drink the wine. <laughs> and I was tired of working three jobs. So I've been cooking for seven kids for the past 22 years. She's a wonderful mother, a wonderful wife. She's my soulmate. Right, you can carry it now. I got it. There it is. Ooh. Onions. I think we're gonna beat them. Come on. All right. Speed up, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Go upstairs. See you in a bit. Let's go. Well, we're at the final five. Mm. What an incredible day to bring in their loved ones. You know, that's a lot of inspiration, but it's also a lot of pressure. They haven't seen their families now for months and months mm -hmm. and months. Christian's gumbo. Time. I'm this worried is, about the time. You know, it takes two Jasmine. hours plus to yeah, cook it. Minimum. I don't know how he does it in an hour. So Jasmine may have thrown him a wrench by picking yeah. the gumbo. He might be in trouble. So yeah. I think now, Courtney yeah. by far has the hardest task here. Mac and cheese, something that we all know and love, but yeah, how do you so elevate it? I'm gonna do a truffle lobster mac and cheese with some shaved truffle and a panko breadcrumb that I'm gonna season and toast off. What? I love you, Paula. I love you, Les. <laughs> Make something yummy. I'm making uh, an elevated rack of lamb with some uh, beets, butternut squash, mushrooms, and it's gonna it's gonna be really nice. Okay. Christian, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Chef. Uh, first of all, wow, what a lovely lady. Thank you. Gumbo, something that she absolutely adores. How on earth are you going to get this done in 60 minutes? Because you know it takes minimum. It takes a minute. Minutes, yeah, hours. yes, Chef. I'm going to get it done. How are you going to elevate that? I'm going to have a lot of seafood in there with a little bit of Dewey sauce and New Orleans touch to it. Good luck. Thank you. It's half the time gone. You have 30 minutes left to cook. So, Elizabeth, what is it exactly? I don't get it. Meatballs and polenta are a pretty traditional pairing, and grits are like the polenta of the South. It seems so simple. How do you elevate it? The meatballs have five meats. Uh, mortadella, ground veal, ground pork, ground beef, and Italian pork sausage. Good luck. Thank you so much, Chef. Eleven minutes remaining. Jeez, what's, what's, what's happening? Wow. Interesting. So it smells awesome. Speed I mean, of the way they're cooking today yeah. is incredible. Right. No doubt that Leslie is in the pole position today. Mm -hmm. I think the rack of lamb is a restaurant protein. Well, I'm really worried about Elizabeth just because oh, it's going to be hard mustard. to elevate really? two rustic ingredients. Come on, family members, give them some support. Last minute. Come on. Come on, Come on Elizabeth. Come on, Gordy. Come on, Elizabeth. Come on, Elizabeth. Come on, Elizabeth. You got this. 
Let's go, guys. Come on. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Almost on that. Speed up. Almost on that it's thing. Almost to do it. Ten, what? Ten. Nine. Eight. eight seven. Six. Five. Six, five four, four. Three. Two. two one. one. And go. No Hands cheating. In the air. Still to come on Master Chef. <laughs> the home cooks face some. Gr wait, 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 wait! What? The home cooks okay. have had just one hour to turn a loved one's favorite dish into a restaurant quality. What is this mid, mid episode spoiler? Four, what? Three, three two, two, one. one. Go. Hands in the air. It's incredible. Throughout the challenge, the judges taste elements of all the home cooks' dishes as they come together. Nice color. Ooh, they now well take one it. last look to choose the top three standouts, yeah, and the winner that. will receive a major advantage in the next round. Fantastic. Amazing. Amazing. Dishes. I mean, wow. Unbelievable. Where's Simple. the mac and cheese in? Tough one this one tonight. However, the first dish out of the top three that we want to take a much closer look at, that dish clearly elevated that humble dish that their loved one chose for them and took it to a completely different level. The cooking Definitely restaurant quality like dish. So fast Please, step forward. Leslie, yeah, yeah, Leslie. Courtney. What? Describe the dish, please. That's not mac and cheese. I thought mac was a macaroni. Is that a, that's a shell and cheese. What the I fuck? made for you a truffled lobster mac and cheese huh? with fried Brussels sprouts and a fried quail egg. So when you break into it, the yolk will mac run and over cheese. The, the lobster make a lovely yep. sauce. That, that's the rigged. dish is uh, delicious that's and not complex fair. in flavor. Trying to get the cheese matching the sweetness of the lobster is a tall order. Uh, you've done that perfectly. Um, Pasta's cooked beautifully, sauce, thick, rich, everything you want from a mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, you've elevated. Definitely. Good job. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. So when uh, young Cooper said mac and cheese, I was like, uh-oh. But you turn it into really a world-class pasta dish. Macaroni I wanted pasta. to make you something very elegant, which is why I chose the orecchietti pasta. And I wanted to do a trio of cheeses instead of just, you know, the standard. Nope. Breaking down those cheeses and making them. Macaroni pasta. Macaroni. What am I missing? In? That's a macaroni. Sauce without breaking them yeah. is a very difficult thing to do. You made a fonduta, which is what we call a cheese sauce in Italian, mm -hmm. and perfectly. That takes a lot of technique. Yeah. Cooper, what do you think? Are you proud of your big sis? Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Cooper. Thank you very much. Oh, it's elevated. Dish oh, that okay. Would like to ex then next time, next time you say, "Hey man, make a red snapper." Oh, instead, of, I'm gonna make a salmon because it's it's an elevated fish. It's it's high on the food chain. Damn, and further, ah, dude. this one cooked elevated, really by the way, dug down deep so and used some stupid. bold Shut flavors. Up. They were given a really tall order to pull off in just an hour, but somehow they managed to pull through. Elevate, please come nuts. forward, Leslie. Yeah. Christian. What? Yeah. yeah. Please describe your dish. It's uh, New Orleans gumbo. There's some crawfish in there, mm -hmm. some crab in there, some uh, andouille sausage, and uh, I made my that own That looks really stuff. good, though. It's, uh, it's like taking a big drink from the ocean, <laughs> except it's flavored beyond belief. That, that umami, good. that meatiness that comes out with it the right level of salt, seasoning, everything. I mean, it's showing how far you've come to be able to rock it out that quick, mm -hmm. to be able to really showcase the techniques of getting that shellfish cooked off and a stock made from it. And, yes. And that's a dish that anybody would want to just sit down and keep eating. Wow. I mean, it's great. Thank you're you. One of, you're one of your best. Good job. Thank you. This is, you know, taking us right back to New Orleans, definitely, without a doubt. Tastes delicious. I mean, right combination of heat. Um, I think there's a lot of professional chefs out there tonight who struggle to get that done within 60 cheese. minutes. It's a um, what do I do differently? Less rice, sausage, a little bit finer. However, the more pressure we put you under, the better you perform. Jasmine, 
She'll come back more often because I think she's got the best out of you. Wow. Good job. Well done. Thank you, Chef. The third dish we want to take a closer look at had a lot of difficult components. It seems to all come together on this plate. Leslie. This home cook took a rustic dish and definitely elevated it. Please step forward. My man, Leslie. Easy. Elizabeth. What? So, what's the dish? This is an herb grits with sauteed broccoli rabe, roasted fennel, and a five-meat meatball in a simple tomato sauce. They look nice. They're like a very coarse cut. Mm -hmm. This seems very loose. I did add a little bit of Italian bread soaked in milk to kind of try to bring it together and give it that course, lightness. Italian. The meatballs are really, really good. They got a little bit of crispiness on the outside, nice and moist on the inside. It's a beautiful collection of flavors. Your tomato sauce is, is good. It's got good acidity. Broccoli's delicious. A very strong dish. Thank you. The meatballs taste like they've been cooked for hours, but they haven't. Um, grits, I absolutely love. They've been elevated um, into something luxurious. Sauce, rich in flavor, fennel. Meatballs have all gone posh now, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, really good job. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Uh, delicious. Really good indeed. If it's Courtney, I am not watching this show. I want to win, and I want Ross to see me win. Go on, man. But more importantly, Say winning Say this mystery box you. is going to put me in front of Courtney Say for the competition. Say it again. Say it again. Yes. I can't believe you pulled that off. Yeah. How'd you get that in 60 minutes? I only won the mystery box it's once Christian. before, 100%. and just to win this mystery box in front of my fiance would mean the world to me. Courtney's mac and cheese. I mean, really, she got the whole thing. I just want to win this for my little brother. I want to make him proud. Three what? amazing dishes, but as we know, only one can be the winner. The person who did their loved one's favorite dish justice. Dude, I, dude I'm telling you, I'm gonna lose it. That home cook is... Christian. Well done. Dude, just say it already. It's Christian. Three amazing dishes, but as we know, only one can be the winner. That person that took it and elevated it to a master chef level. This home cook will now join us in the pantry oh, no. and get a huge advantage oh, in the no. upcoming elimination challenge. Congratulations. No, 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 I'm working. Rich Chin. Elizabeth. Man, man. You are officially in the top four. It's like winning two times over, because I win the challenge and Elevated meatball, elevated meatball, and simple tomato sauce. It's Italian. I win in front Italian of my bread Italian bread and Italian sauce. Ah, Ross, how are you feeling? I, I, I'm it's done. amazing. I'm so proud of her. Brilliant. Good job. Please, I'd like to invite all our family members to come down the stairs carefully uh, and say goodbye to your loved ones. Hey, give it a big hug. Say goodbye, bud. Mm. Wherever your loved one is. Me too. I love you too. I love you. You did a beautiful job. Yeah. Thank you, families, for joining us on this fantastic challenge tonight. Safe trip back. Dave, take care. Good, Good, night. Good night, Dave. It's an insult, chat. What if what did the said? Make me a caramel. Caramel. And I said, you know what, dude? Hey, Joe, fuck you. I'm making a tortellini. Fuck you. He said, oh, wow, look at the pasta. Morning. Beautiful. Wow. What a nice, Elizabeth. what a nice tortellini. Let's go. Uh, what do you ask for? Way. Thank you. Amazing. Elizabeth, congratulations on winning the Mystery Box Challenge tonight. Weeks ago, this kind of advantage was big. Now, it's ten times bigger. There's only five of you left. Here, you have four faces on a plate. Christian, Cutter, Courtney, and then finally, Leslie. Damn. I'm about to present you with four very different, somewhat unique protein. All you need to do tonight, Elizabeth, is put one protein on each plate. She, she, yes, chef. She's gonna sabotage. First, you have something that, honestly, uh, I love to cook. A wow. sirloin, a steak. <laughs> An ox heart. 
It's 100% muscle. Very difficult, very demanding, very challenging. When it's right, it melts in your mouth. The next choice is an ingredient that you're going to actually have to use in making these decisions. Brain. Brains. Veal brains, to be precise. Very, very delicate. These will overcook in a second. They take so much finesse. You need just the right balance of flavors to get this right. So the next choice is liver, a tongue. Lamb's tongue, to be more specific. Tongue can be very rich, but very difficult to cook. And if it's not cooked properly, it becomes oh! sinewy and almost unedible. So the final choice is. Oh, God. This is a delicacy beyond belief. Balls, anyway. <laughs> Do you have any idea what these are? Those are balls, chef. <laughs> and these are buffalo testicles. Wow. These are very difficult to cook. The texture can be so chewy if you don't have the proper technique. So vain. This can become a mouthful. Nobody wants to eat. Four challenging proteins, four home cooks, it's time to put one protein on each face. Top four. Thank you. Oh, must be happy. Yeah. Well the balls are pretty good to cook here, I think. And then you slice them in like small chips and, and then you, and you, uh, now, you, uh, you, you pan Elizabeth pan -fry got them. some huge advantages. She does not have to cook in tonight's elimination challenge. In the pantry, we asked Elizabeth to select a different protein for each of you. Elizabeth, so Elizabeth, bouncy. Elizabeth. <laughs> yes. Elizabeth got to choose between heart, brains, tongue, and testicles. All of you that bouncy. Yeah. Are you excited? Yes, yes chef. chef. No, chef. No. I ain't, I ain't never cooked that before, chef. But you know what? I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Good. Glad to hear it. Are you ready? to find out no. what Elizabeth has chosen no. for you. Yes, yes. Yes. yes, The answer is in the pantry, along with finding everything else you need to make us one stunning dish. Your one hour starts now. OK, here it comes. You will cook us. Uh, I got the brain. Oh. Christian, for all his Boys. tough guy demeanor, oh. he's squeamish, but he's a super strong competitor. And I want him out because he keeps cooking well. So, Christian, you get the deal points. Oh, my God. Oh, tongue. Oh, nice. <laughs> Part of biggest Whee! Texas, right? <laughs> I got the balls. I save the buffalo testicles for my biggest competition. Which is Courtney. Why, but this is easier, my chance to serve her back though. a little bit and get revenge because if there's, oh, there's one blood, thing two, that can oh, trip okay. anybody up, testicles. Oh, oh, let's go shopping. Do. Let's... I'm taking this dish and I'm gonna flip this around. This is going to be the fanciest bull testicle anyone has ever seen in their life. Nice. Cutter. Interesting. Very interesting. Never made brains a day in my life. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's top five, so you never know what they're going to throw at you. Thank you for the brains, Elizabeth. So, Sorry. So what makes the brain of one species? All right, so we have heart, More testicles, the other one, brains, and tongue. What do you think is the hardest to work with? The brains. Christian has really got his work cut out there because they're so delicate. Post them mm -hmm. one minute too long, it turns into It's like cooking custard. In yeah. my Thoughts? opinion, the most difficult protein tonight was the testicles, and giving them to Courtney was a real hard hit. If you yeah, decide you to cut them when they're still raw, it's like no. popping a no, water balloon. Exactly. exactly. Just under 40 minutes to go. Christian, yeah, you got brains. How's it going? Humans it's going have prions, right? Sauce. Where are your brains? My brains are right there. I boiled them. Boiled them like low. cooked, like hot, like over. over. They're like gonna be you very, want to do a low They're going to be very mealy, I think, where they should be creamy. Uh -huh. What do you plan to do with it now? I'm going to stuff it in a pasta. Do you have ricotta? I didn't grab my ricotta or my mozzarella. What's wow. going to be your filling? Just brains? It's too rich. So well, I'm going to it. put some vegetables in there. I have never heard of anything like your dish before. 
can't heat the human brain, some there's lamb a, tongue, something so in it that makes you go crazy. It tender, and then I'm going to sear it and um, see what happens. But I think Christian has a tough one. He has the brains, and those can go south real quick. I'd be nervous if I had brains. <laughs> oh, prions, yeah. I had to restart this pasta, so it's not going good right now. Come on, Christian. As I'm watching the cook go down, Christian is really, really frantic. Just looking at his face, he looks scared. Christian's in a complete tailspin. Yeah. She dealt him yeah. a direct and severe yeah. blow with the brains because she might send Look him Look at home. brain taco. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. This is like a dream come true. I think Christian is going home on this one. Maybe you should have thought about it in brainstorm. Christian's in a complete tailspin. Yeah. She dealt him a yeah. direct and severe blow with the brains because she might send him home. I had to restart this pasta, so it's not going good right now. Come on, Christian. It's not time to go home. I'm not ready to give my apron up. And at the end of the day, I have to elevate this dish. I decided to do what I know, and I'm going to bread my brains, make a brain Parmesan pasta, and see how far these brains takes me. Hope they don't take me back to New Orleans. Under 30 minutes to go. Ah, stock is beautiful. All right, Courtney, how are you feeling? Very good, Chef. You have a tough one tonight. It's testicles, not the kind of thing you eat every weekend. Come on. Yeah, but I'm not afraid of it. So what's the dish? I'm doing a pot au feu. What's the base of the pot au feu? The... It's going to be a vegetable stock. Oh, yes. wow. testicles? Wow. And okay. then I'm going to slice them into mm. little medallions, which I'm going to fry. Wow. I think that Elizabeth found it irresistible to give me testicles. Trust me, she knew that was one of the most difficult proteins to pull off. Good yes. luck. Thank you, Chef. The brain is a little bit of a little bit of I'm gonna do a uh, stuffed poblano pepper with an ox heart filleted on top. How are you gonna cook the ox heart? I'm gonna cook it like a fillet, like a steak. Which Here. piece are you cooking? I'm gonna cook this one first. You're cooking first. this? I was gonna that? try that whole thing. That'll that'll take hours. I mean, that's like I'm just gonna four end up times thicker. It. This is something that you should be comfortable with, right? I feel comfortable with it, but it's the pressure of knowing that I could go home tonight if I don't get it right. All right, good luck. Thanks. Good luck. Appreciate it. Taste that. We should be comfortable. Nobody cooks with that shit. Young man, how are you feeling? Feeling good. There's a lot going on here. What's in there? Uh, carrots, celery, onions, tongue. Is the tongue, in there? tongue. Yes, the tongue is okay, definitely. Good. So you're in braising there. it. Yes, and then I'm also going to put some bok choy and uh -huh. some spinach on top. Of Sounds it. delicious. Confident getting to the top four? Definitely top four. Good luck. Thank you, chef. Guys, 15 minutes to go. Oh, she's skinning the balls. Fascinating. Wow. I mean, absolutely really fascinating. I mean, A, it smells incredible. Yeah, it smells really good in here. So, Courtney's doing a pot of fur of buffalo. Fuck test. me. Pot of fur, right? Pot oh, on fire. Shit. That's the idea. You're taking rough cuts and stewing it. If you cut it the right way and cook it exactly. down, exactly. Yeah, it should yeah. be good. Cutter? Cutter uh. is taking the heart. You cut a piece about that thick and said he was going to cook it like a filet. It's like completely rare. It's got a long way to go. Christian is hitting an all time mm -hmm. low for the master yeah, chef's kitchen. Doing? He's putting really pasta right. in ice water. I've never seen that before. Never. Seen. This is the most disorganized I've seen. He's in trouble. Yeah. Wow. Leslie, on the other hand, the actual dish sounds incredible. Yeah. yeah the right. tongue's being braised with that. red wine. I, I, I yes. If I don't make the final four, they got no taste buds. Yeah, come on. Just gotta cook. A little more. I kicked this challenge. The and motherfucker it tasted it. For certain. Last two minutes. And for one of you, your last two minutes in the Master Chef kitchen. Come on. Gorgeous. Taste everything. Remember I, what's you, you love the Come on. Oh my god, Christian. It's, it's a mess. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. About really four. Tough I'm challenge. A, I'm a Lesler. Be quiet. Let's start with Christian. I am very upset at myself. I'm walking up to the judges. I feel that my plating is not to what they're looking for, but my only hope is that it tastes delicious. Describe your dish. Brain Parmesan pasta. I didn't get an opportunity to put the Parmesan on it, so it's really a brain mm -hmm. tomato pasta. Mm. 
What happened to you today? I don't know. I, I didn't maintain my time. I mean, I never worked with Brain before. I never had Brain, so. Well, let's start with the pasta. Oh. So you did things to pasta that I've never seen done. You didn't roll it out. You didn't work it. And then you Oof. put it in ice water. Well, I put it in ice water to cool, but why did not, you put the pasta? I should have put it in the hot skin. I'm not using my brain. Mm. Good one. I know that you're a better cook than this. Damn right. That pasta. I mean, because the pasta itself, considering you put it in ice, it's not even terrible. Oh. Tell me about the tomato sauce. Bell peppers, uh, oregano, um, parmesan. How much oregano? That whole well, stem in there. You just yeah. put raw oregano in tomatoes. All right, tell me about the brain. So you fried them? Yeah, I fried them, breaded them in the uh, grapeseed oil. The brains are delicious. Wow. It's everything else that pulled you down. It's good. Tomato sauce. Yes, sir. Terrible. Yes, sir. We're in the final five. Yes, sir. This elimination. Yes, sir. It's okay. It's okay. Not too bad. Could have been. It could have been worse for sure. Just cutting it open like that. The brains they're cooked perfectly, and then the browning on them is spot on. Yes, chef. Tastes awesome. They do taste good. But I mean, what's going on with the rest of the dish? Clumsy mistakes, like the I said before. The biggest mistake for you was in the pantry itself, when you were conceptualizing your dish, yes, and you sir. somehow decide you're going to do pasta and tomato sauce. It doesn't make any sense to me. I think that Elizabeth, when she had her choice back there, she put a target on your back, and what? it ended up being like a headshot, because wow. this, I mean, this is probably the worst dish that you have ever presented us. And it's at the time that you need to give us your best. Uh, he's not gone, right? We just saw this. You're back, and it ended up being us. And it's at the time that you need to give us your best. Thanks. Oh, is it thanks, though? I am pissed right now. That dish is not me. The pasta and the sauce was not where it needed to be. But at the end of the day, they said the brains was good. So I'm hoping that my protein just gets There's me still through hope. this. Right, uh, Courtney, let's go. There's still hope. Describe the dish, please. Today, I made fried herbe de Provence. Testicle over a pot of feu. Visually, it looks gorgeous. I've okay. never quite that in the history of my French. cooking career seen a testicle so glamorous as Jesus. that. Jesus. Pretty impressive. And the coating on the outside? Some cornmeal, herb de Provence, salt mm -hmm. pepper. And how did you cook these vegetables? I braised them in the broth. Mm -hmm. Delicious, uh, refined, and the protein, the bit that we're all focused on tonight, nailed. I mean, really Thank good indeed. Uh, finesse, you've managed to give a difficult protein yes. a little bit of glamour. Good job. Thank you, Thank Chef. You. That's really delicious. The fact that you can take something that's really rustic and cheap and yeah. turn them into something delicious. If you served that to someone, didn't tell them what it was, they would be asking for seconds and thirds. Yeah. They are awesome. I think you just really Chef. took this as an opportunity to you know that lip that makes me look, makes me think of it? your <laughs> tough competitor. Chef, you, know that, there's a thing, you, you, you had this one kid in, in, in elementary school who would like lick his lips all the time. And show everyone else behind you how no, badass this you are. Big ass red outline. Good job. This Thank huge you. Huge outline. Right? <laughs> I've absolutely That's proven to job. Elizabeth that it doesn't matter what you throw at me, I'm going to send it back to you singing. Good job, Court. Thank you. Next up, Leslie. <laughs> Describe the dish, please. It's a braised lamb tongue over Yukon gold and parsnip puree with some spinach and some bok choy. Yeah. Uh, visually, it's not your best uh, looking plate, that's for sure. It's somewhat clumsy. Taste it. Mm. There's the back part of the tongue connected to the throat that you didn't cut off, so you didn't clean any of that up, so I got a little bit of I almost didn't... like cartilage. 
of the back. I took the skin off, but I didn't realize that needed to be yep. cleaned. Oh, it's a shame because the actual flavor is delicious. Uh, braised beautifully, and it's sort of rustic. Doesn't need spinach and bok choy. I expect you to nail those little components of the dish at this stage of the game. Someone's going home tonight. Thank you. Well, thank you, Chef. Gordon's right. You didn't clean it very well. OK. You put an incredible amount of garlic in here. Would you have garlic in the bok choy? Mm, yeah, there's a touch. You know, we're at the top four now, so we're scrutinizing even the smallest little mistake. I understand. You think you're going to play another day with this? Uh, yes, sir? I think I'll play another day. I mean, there's one thing to have a certain swagger about your ability, and you've done very well, but sometimes great cooks get sent home on one mistake, one misstep. It's not great. All right, last up, Cutter. Please throw, please throw. Please describe your dish. I have a ox heart topped with a mushroom ancho chili sauce on top of a chorizo and cheese stuffed poblano with a Mexican corn salad underneath. This is the first time that I have uh. ever truly seen you on a plate. Thank you. I hope, it, I hope you enjoy it. It's the best plate that you've ever put up Wait, as what? far as the presentation. And when you look at a cook that you got on the top and bottom, I think you, you did it right where it needs to be. Thank you. No. It's yummy. It's cooked beautifully. Using what you know, down in the southwest and being able to put that on a plate it's like finally you're arriving you know i'm excited no thank you good job no there's no shot this is delicious you cook this heart about as good as it could be cooked thank you it's crunchy on the outside what did you season it with i made my own little rub a chili that, powder that, paprika that's a things hearty like that. meal. rub there's some recipe you should keep in your pocket because it is right on. Thank you. Contrast perfectly the richness. That makes the dish. That rub, the way you cooked it, very, very impressive. Good job, Cutter. Thank you. I impressed Joe. How cool is that? Finally, the old Texas boy impresses the Yankee. Well done, I, I all of you. I, some I, I great know, chat. tasting dishes. Can all four of you please come down to the front? Thank you. Tough night. Very tough indeed. Courtney, Cutter, step in front. There were two great dishes tonight. The first dish, congratulations, Cutter. Cutter. Good job. Thank you. It was a great dish. It was really imaginative. However, the best dish of the night belongs to Courtney. Courtney. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. Yeah. Courtney, 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 you Courtney, are both Courtney. both safe from elimination. Please join Elizabeth up on the balcony. Good job, guys. Good job, man. They the said cut off to the balcony before me, and I'm thinking, OK, I'm not liking this. I could be going home, you know? Good job. Thanks. That well, leaves no. us Christian and Leslie. Leslie's hold them. We have to lose one of you tonight. Hold them. The person going home is Christian. Christian and Leslie, we have to lose one of you tonight. The person going home is Christian, guys. Christian or I walk in. That's as simple as it gets. Time between both. Christian or I walk in. Do we have to send more than home? Christian, man, he's a talented guy. I mean, he's my dirty South brother, man. Say I nothing. Mean, me and him, Texas, Christian. Louisiana, we stick by each other's side. The guy is an amazing cook. The tongue wasn't clean. Right. We weren't judging on the pasta, we were judging on the brains. But it's part of the Oh, dish. wait, what do you want? Leslie has yeah, this you crazy want will and determination. So I have a lot of respect for him. But he's really proven himself. There's highs and lows, but what's the It's going to be a one-to-one -one episode. Yeah. We didn't get one this season. This is the one. This is the toughest decision that we've made so far. Christian and Leslie, whatever the result is tonight, it hurts us, us. to say goodbye. 
the person leaving MasterChef tonight, not advancing to the final four, that person is... Christian! Why walk? Christian. Yes! Oh. Fuck yes! We're chill, we're good. Leslie, please say goodbye to Christian and head upstairs. Good luck, bro, man. I wish you the best. Christian, you are one of the best cooks that we've ever had in here. And the pasta and the brains might have slipped you up, but you know that you belong in a kitchen. Yeah, Young man, my only hope is that you continue to follow that dream. And if you're looking for an investor across your food truck launch, then call me. Because oh, I know you've got it. Wow. Yes, chef. Come and say goodbye. Thanks, bro. Thank Plus one mils. Good luck. Good job. Master ah, Chef Sharks yeah, Den yeah. crossover. Well done, buddy. Thank you. Man. Now, one, two, three, four. Can't quite believe we're asking you this. However, yeah. who's going to win Master Chef? I'm sorry, Cutter. I'm sorry, Leslie. I'm sorry, Courtney. But hands down, Elizabeth. Well done, big man. Thank you. Thank you, bud. I am very thankful to go that far in this competition. And um, Chef Ramsey, he's willing to offer me, help me get my own food truck. That means so much to me. Because I came in this competition with nothing, and I gave it everything that I got. Christian. These culinary experts, they see something in me. That's a great, great dish. And it right, shows yeah. I like the Christian. journey where you're at now. Thank you, Chef. He's good. Tonight's king of the kitchen, Christian. Get out of here. Wow. I'm proud of myself. And at the end of the day, I made my family proud. I made my son proud. I'm sure I made New Orleans proud. Now turn it up, you guys. guys I don't know. I don't know guys, if I'm. I can't wait. I don't know if I'm, I'm coping. Get that food truck. I can't wait. But I, I think. To follow the dream I came here to do. I think. <laughs> yeah. Color got better. <laughs> guys, did he perhaps get better? No, nah, no, nah, I think, I think they get, guys, I think they're giving Cutter some softballs, 100%. Guys, it's obvious they're giving Cutter some, some softballs. Not, no more, guys, 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 guys.